The game starts off looking terrible, and as I complete various quests, Minecraft gets more and more and more realistic. Until eventually, it basically looks like real life. And during all of this, I'm going to beat Minecraft in hardcore mode. And this is the world, yeah, it's, uh, it doesn't look the greatest, does it? Just look at this wood. It's just a brown square. It's like, it's like Minecraft. I can't even see the crafting table. I feel like I'm playing Minecraft on a flipping budget. The crafting table has absolutely no tech. My crosshair's not there. The sooner I can make Minecraft more realistic, the better. I mean, how is that a stick? It's a square. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pickaxe, what? Cows have been lost his face. At least at least I'm the only realistic thing here. But at the very least, I can tell what stone is. I kind of feel like I'm playing some sort of plastic texture pack. Anyway, against the odds, I've, I've got all my tools. I will definitely need food before I go caving. And it looks like there are pigs up ahead. Pigs which can be hit with my square so I can get more squares. Which really is the worst texture pack known to man. And there's some cows over here. And in order to make Minecraft more realistic, my first quest is to find a diamond. I really hope that doesn't take too long. I've just realized I can't even see my hunger either. I should probably eat food sooner rather than later because I have no idea how hungry I'm getting. That is apparently a furnace on fire. And how am I going to find ores? I, ca I can't tell what they look like. I'm going to guess that up there, it's coal. That's got to be coal, right? And it looks like there's some easier to find coal right here. But what iron looks like on the other hand, I have absolutely no clue. At least this food is cooked and I can actually do some munching. And is is this iron? No, that's copper. Okay, uh, what about this? That's dirt. That's also dirt. That guy has the world's best textures. Endermen are just bright purple. <laughs> there has to be be some iron down here. That's got to be it over there, right? Oh no, it fell. Don't know why, but I feel like the game is so much harder without textures. But yes, this is indeed iron, which means they can be smelted and an iron pickaxe can be made. Now all that's left for me to track down is a diamond. And I've got to try and not die to all those mobs over there. So gold has been found. Spiders look really cool. Can I just say that, mate? Part of me feels like this is actually one of the best texture packs. Now, I thought these might be diamonds, but it's, it's just those stupid glow like and things. This is definitely going to be tougher than I thought. Especially when I think I I'm actually can't see my health, which is a bit worrying. And I know you guys can't tell, but I'm actually in hardcore right now. So I have to be very careful that I don't make any stupid mistakes. This cave is absolutely massive. That's got to be... Is no, it's not. I keep thinking those stupid glow like and diamonds. Is that what I'm looking for? It's definitely a brighter blue than everything else. It has to be. I have found a diamond. Let's make some space for it. The textures are about to upgrade. And things are certainly looking better than they were. It's, oh my goodness, it's it's definitely got more realistic. Now physics are just completely, uh, completely crazy. And I love it. I, th I think it looks amazing. And my next quest is to eat a poisonous potato. Which means being down in this cave is actually not the place that I want to be. But since I am in the vicinity, I'm just going to see if there's more diamonds. Because it's a good place for it. I mean, just look at the size of this cave. I mean, seriously, look at the size of this cave. This is probably the best cave I've ever seen. And I don't give that title away lightly. Just trying to mine through everything. And I cannot see a thing for all these packers. God, get get in the lava. Still no sign of more diamonds. And there's so many mobs. I'm, I'm kind of slightly terrified. Which is unusual for me. But I, I just feel like I'm playing a completely different game. Are these diamonds? Or is it lapis? Wait, are they diamonds? Oh, they are. Oh, but I've been walking past diamonds all this time without realizing there's more here. I should probably just learn what this flipping texture pack is. All along, I was thinking that this was lapis. Well, I'm certainly happy with the five diamonds. I should maybe grab some iron as well. Although there's kind of mobs everywhere and I'm a little bit scared. Although this is free iron, this is easy to get. Just a little bit of armor. Oh my goodness, I want that iron. Okay, that thing's got a little bit hairy there. I'm just moving out. There's mobs everywhere. Oh, there's a spawner over there. Definitely in my best interest to... Oh, there's more diamonds there though. I was going to say to make a shield, but okay, that creeper's coming for me. Let me deal with him first. Oh my goodness, you just flung up into the air. Diamond number six. I love the little particles that come off as well as they float up. There's also a seventh one beneath it. And that is enough for me. Well, it will be when I've got these. It's just everywhere. And so that I don't drown, Um, which I'm, I'm about. Oh, okay, what am I doing here? I was going to say I press the pressure plate, but that's not going to work. A door would have been easier, but, but, but this will do. And now I am definitely going to be leaving this area. Well, once I've got that diamond and, and that diamond and... Oh my goodness, everything just collapsed. I forgot it's a big collapsing thing as well. Realistic physics. Kind of made me jump, but it also has given me so, so many blocks. And now I'm just getting out of here. Now, what happens when I break this? Does the whole thing... Oh no, what have I done? The whole cave's going to collapse, which is kind of epic if, you, if I'm honest with you. Look at that. What a mess. <laughs> Let's just get out of it. It's all way more fun than it should be. Actually, it makes it way, way faster to mine upwards because there's so much more of a collapsation. And already, I'm out of here. Now, to track down this poisonous potato, I'm going to need to locate a village. It's also nice to see what all my tools and inventory actually are now. And with this many diamonds, I, I should probably craft some stuff too. As to be said, I'm looking pretty good. I have to say, the leaves look very cool at this level. They look even cooler... <laughs> <laughs> when you break them, oh my goodness, all off the trees. It's been about two years since I played Minecraft with real 
realistic physics. And I'd forgotten just how cool it was. The sun is starting to go down. I, I need to find it soon. I didn't even see the distance. I, I was literally just over there when I said that. I probably could see it and I didn't even see it. But I can go to bed before the sun sets. And now the goal is to try and find a potato. Which could be a bit of a challenge. All depends what kind of crops these farmers are growing, okay? These ones, carrots, useless. Potatoes! Oh, that's brilliant. I guess I just have to keep having some. You know what? I've got, a, I've got a better idea. Won't need that better idea if I just get a poisonous potato from one of these. But I'm starting to not get my hopes up. Looks like mission was unsuccessful. I have some bone meal, so I'm, I'm just going to try and grow some and do that. Still nothing. So it's time for master plan B. Firstly, grab some hay bales, because I'm probably going to need some more food later. Then craft a boat. And I was going to say go in search of an ocean, but there's literally another village up ahead. So maybe, just maybe, I'll find a poisonous potato. This here is the one chance and none of what I wanted. Village number three, disappointing. Same with the fourth one as well as the fifth. And finally, I found what I'm looking for, the ocean. With a shipwreck right here, although this doesn't have what I want. Actually, it did have the chest of white, but not a poisonous potato. Hard to recognize these shipwrecks when they're in different textures. And what about this one? Nope, only some treasure. And the same thing with this shipwreck and this one. But finally, <laughs> this one has it. And to go to the next level, I just need to eat it. But at, at the moment, I'm not really very hungry. So I'm going to do what any person in this situation would do and jump off a small cliff. And now as I regen, it will use up hunger. And I can eat that poisonous potato. Look at that. Things are looking so... Oh my goodness, I can see myself as well. But things are definitely looking a lot more realistic, a lot more like vanilla Minecraft now. And the next quest is to do an MLG from world height all the way to bedrock. Since I'm in hardcore mode, this is probably going to be the most dangerous one yet. I guess first things first, I just need to dig straight down, which is going to be a bit of a nightmare with water everywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> that good as the block I was stood on didn't go into lava. As you can see, I've also removed it. Oh my. Okay, well, there we go. Nice job, SP. You're an idiot. How I'm still alive, I have no idea. Yeah, it's easy to forget about this, this physics mod. But anyway, I've removed the thing where when I look down, I can see my own body because it was really, really annoying me. And it looks like that is bedrock reached. Next, I will break my way out. And now that I'm out, I'm going to go all the way up to Sky Limit. Actually, before I go up to Sky Limit, I should probably remember to refill my water bucket. There we go. And now I can get back to building up to Sky Limit. And there we go. I've made it to the top. I can barely see the bottom. And before I jump, guys, I am trying to reach 4 million subscribers this year. So if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And here we go. I have just realized as well that if I miss this, I, I will be in trouble because I'm in hardcore. So I've got to get it right first time, but I've... I've done it many times before, and I've done it again! The realism has increased. I'm gonna have a bit of a job building out of here now, aren't I? And the next quest is to spawn a snow golem. The desert is, is probably not the best place for that. And oh my goodness, I wasn't sure that the next level did anything, but look at this sky. It looks beautiful. Oh, me just wants to play Minecraft all the time with this sky. I love it. It even makes the scenery in the distance look better. I am very... Very impressed. But it doesn't matter how impressed I am, I still need to find... Flip it out, this is, this is scary. But yeah, I still need to find some snow. And also, well, that was a good MLG. And ideally, also a pumpkin. Just kind of have this built-in thing where I have to go for a desert pyramid if I see it. But there wasn't anything particularly good. Well, I found a grassy area, which means there could be pumpkins around. I shall search the land and see what I can find. Is that what I think it is? It is indeed. Some sweet, sweet pumpkins. And now for phase two, which is to track down some snow. And wow, pumpkins aren't really as rare as I thought they were going to be. And that is also mission accomplished. So I shall mine up eight of these. Craft two blocks of snow, place down that, craft shears, do that, throw them away, and on top goes the snow golem. And look at that, we are very, very, okay, though that does not look very realistic. Yeah, just, just ignore the birch trees, but we have leveled up, and things are looking very nice indeed. I'm starting to lose all concept of what is Minecraft and what is real life. But my next quest is to tame three wolves, and thankfully, from that desert pyramid, I got loads of bones. Look at the detail on this ice. It just looks like I could make it crack. But yeah, I've got the bones. I just need to find the wolves. And there are plenty of forests around to do that. Even the water looks crazy realistic. And here we are in Checkerboard Forest, where I have tracked down some wolves. Oh, there's loads of them here. Right, have some bones. That's one. That is two. You're a baby. You're a baby. But you're an adult, which makes three. And Minecraft is looking even more... What is happening to that chicken? Oh my goodness, look at the wolves. They look like real things. Oh, you want some bones? No, you're not having any bones. My goodness, you can't look scary. I'm starting to wonder if Minecraft is just getting a little bit too realistic. I mean, look at those squids. They, they look like squids. I mean, it looks cool. I'm, I do like all of this stuff. But my goodness, it's something very, very different to get used to. Butterflies? 
Oh, there's butterflies in the game. Oh, that's cool. You just never know what's going to turn up next. I know what I need to get, though. I need to get Crying Obsidian, which means I need to head to the nether. My goodness, crabs. Anyway, don't get distracted. Nether, I think I just got to dig down to get that. Even the sounds are more realistic. Just listen. It's, it's amazing. I don't know why these textures are like really bad compared to all the other dirt. It's still really rubbish. What? Oh my goodness. Why is there water everywhere? I, I hope you're all right, dogs. It's just, it's flooding in a little bit. Wait, are these diamonds? Did I dig past this? Or I think these have been uncovered. You know, the more realistic Minecraft gets, the more confusion it gets. Anyway, I shall just keep strip mining. And look at that. I found some... Okay, what a mess. But despite that, I have successfully found a cave. Minecraft's still not looking that realistic down here. So obviously, you know, there's more levels to go. And Crying Obsidian will help me upgrade it to its final form. Oh, look at this. Realistic water bucket MLG. Operation fine. Lava has been successful. No, dog, sit down. Whoa, this could get very, very messy with you guys. Now, I just need to go ahead and build a portal. It should be very straight. Oh, I forgot. Breaking anything is a disastrous thing to do. Yeah, anyway. I, I think I could just put that there and then I can build it. Even when realistic, lava and water physics still work the same. Just looks way, way cooler. I also have no flint and steel or way to light this, so I'm probably just going to use lava. If I do something like that, pick that up put it there. I hope it doesn't hurt me dogs. Dogs, I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put wood like this. Oh my goodness. You are so... <laughs> I didn't think this would happen. I'm very, very sorry, dogs. I wonder if I can get away with doing that. There we go. You're safe. There we go. Portal has lit. Through I go. And I'll be honest, I mean, the lava looks okay, but, but most of the nether... It, it doesn't look very good. I mean, look at the flipping nether rack. It's, it's just, this is poor. So I'm hoping when I get Crying Obsidian... Things are going to look a little bit better. I have found a bastion which will be perfect for crying obsidian. I should probably also make some golden armor first. And now to carefully mine my way in and, and oh yeah, collapse the whole roof in the process. The realism is very annoying because I can't really tell what anything is, especially when it comes to all the items in my inventory. Now mining away at these does break everything as you can see. I hear piglins falling around me. I hope they're not mad at me. Anything good in here? Diamond boots. Oh, you know, that's a better chest plate. The boots are also better, but I, I, I need to keep some gold on at the moment. Next priority is be careful. Get out of it. Break that spawner. And I can hopefully safely mine. No, don't all go into the lava. This is actually pretty dangerous. <laughs> Everything collapses. Is it all going to collapse? Okay, that's all right. Sad to see so much of it get lost. But some of it has survived, as you can see. So armed with seven blocks. I'm now going to try and see what's in this chest. Oh, more gold. Everything looks flipping strange. But my priority is to build my way up and make my way to where... <laughs> <laughs> I get spliffed. But yeah, make my way to the area where there will probably be some crying obs- Okay, as I said, I'm going where there'll probably be some crying obsidian. Okay, Wait, we've, we've found the chest. We've un <gasps> Whoa, you are not supposed to be able to reach me there. I think I'm probably now safe by the looks of things. Let's see what we got. Yes, we got crying obsidian. And everything's looking more realistic. I also see a piglin brute that looks like he wants to come after me. Quick, quick. Okay, we're all right. We're all right. No, you know what? He's coming up here. And whilst I've got all these piglins, I might as well do something like this and start giving them gold. Got a decent amount of obsidian, which is good. And getting a puffer fish is the next challenge for me. Looks like this guy has dropped ender pearls as well. So whilst they do that, I'm going to continue collecting gold and trade it to them. I think I've trapped the only brute, which means I can safely raid this chest. Even more ender pearls Waiting. And it also looks like leveling up has made Minecraft terrain a lot smoother. Just look at it. Like, there's, there's no jagged edges now. And since I've got the obsidian, I'm going to make a portal. This guy's got me some string, which I, I probably do need. And more ender pearls. Okay, he's, just got me, he's got me four more, which is probably all I need. Anything from you? Another two? We got 14? Also realized that it, it wasn't string. I'm not sure if they've actually given me any of that. But since I am going to require a puffer fish, I, I need to try and find some. Didn't see any, so hopefully I, I can find some spiders. Looks like birch leaves have been fixed. I, I don't even feel like I'm playing Minecraft now. Feels more like Roblox or something like that. Anyway, one way or another, I need to get a puffer fish, which means I'm on a quest for string. Spider located. I don't know what it's doing, but let's, uh, let's get it. I think it did drop some string. Oh, I have loads of string. Oh, so that's what string is. I had absolutely no idea. But now that I know that, I'm, uh, I'm going to get some sleep and I can spend this glorious new day doing some fishing. I did also get a netherite ingot from that bastion, which means I can craft a smithing table, place this down and upgrade my chest blade to be a netherite one. Also, so far, it, it's just been salmon and cod. There we have it. I've finally got one. And Minecraft looks even more realistic now. Let me get some sleep so I can see what it's like at daytime. Very, very picturesque. The next quest is to kill five glow squid, which, which means we're going down again. And I guess digging down isn't actually quite so easy now. Since we're not dealing with blocks, we're dealing with a cubeless world. It really does not look like I am playing Minecraft right now. And I've also realized the smartest way for me to find glow squid would just be to go to caves in the ocean. Especially since digging down seems to be very... 
Very painful. What about this? Looks like it's a cave that goes down. Oh, this is very, very cool. Kind of claustrophobic at the same time as well. Just everything about it feels so cool. It's like I'm just popping up in a little cave for a, a breather and I'm... I'm, I'm gonna head him back down. I think, I think I found it. I have a cave full of creepers which I've survived. This is a terrifying experience. I just feel like I'm playing such a weird game. So there is water down here. So that should hopefully mean that I'll soon find glow squid. Oh, this is, this is prime glow squid territory. And there's at least one down here. Oh, hold on, there's two. Okay, so I've, I've got to, I've got to kill five of these. So that's, uh, yeah, that's two of them. Time to see if there's any more bodies of water with glow squid in them. Yeah, there's something behind this. Oh, wow, it's massive down here. And the glow squids are absolutely loving life. So that is a third one, a fourth, and through this way, a fifth one. And let's see what has changed. First of all, let's, let's make sure I don't drown. Everything's a lot brighter down here now. My next quest is to get some ancient debris. I do still have obsidian, so let's Let's get a portal made. There we go. We can line it up. Just come straight back into the... Oh, yeah, that's it. Go through the portal. No, I haven't. I've come into another random bastion. What? I think this is the one I looked before. Yeah, it is. But all I need to do is go over here. Uh, fall into lava and, and drink this. <laughs> I don't know. Everything collapsed when I mined it. Okay, that's really annoying. But I, I'm basically just going to be searching for ancient debris. I, I, I mean, I did find a netherite ingot, but that doesn't count. I've got to find some actual ancient debris, I suppose. But well, this could be awful with the realistic physics, to be honest with you. Like, I don't think it's actually possible when I think about it. Because you can't strip mine for netherite when the, the tunnels collapse above your head. I'll just end up with lava falling on top of me. So instead, I'm going to try and find ancient debris in a chest. If I don't find it in this bastion, I'll just go to another one. But there is a chest here, you know. You never know. Although, have I been to this chest? I, th I think so. Oh, and these guys are angry. You look ridiculously realistic. What the heck? I can see one final chest over there. Does it have what I want? It does. And so when I put this in my inventory... And now Minecraft looks insanely good. It looks like a completely real game. Which is very awesome indeed. And my priority now is to try and find a fortress. What is this? It really does feel like something I've never played before. The salt deltas are so weird to traverse. But the good news is... I've I've spotted a fortress. So now I've just got to go across here, build my way up, and see what I can find. Here's a blaze spawner. I'm going to craft myself a shield and get all the blaze rods. And nine blaze rods should be enough. So now I'm going to head back to the bastion where my portal is. Here it is. There's my portal. A little dark, but I'm going to dig my way out of here. And this is what the outside world looks like. It's very, very nice indeed. And now I can craft the blaze powder, make a load of eyes of ender, cook me fish, and the final quest is to punch an end crystal. A Shark? What the heck? You just never know what you're going to find swimming in the ocean. And according to my calculations, it's somewhere, yeah, somewhere just about here. This is the very block I want to dig down, but I, I can't really see a thing down at the bottom of the ocean. So I'm going to instead dig down here and then mine across to that area. I found it. Look at that. Look at this hole. It looks so cool. I've been silk. Oh my god, silfish looks so cool. Look at them. They look like real silverfish. Even the torches look insane. This is the start of the stronghold. Another pearl. The bookcase room looks so... So eerie. And I think this is it. Is this? Yeah, this is the portal room. Let me get rid of this spawner and the little silverfish. Plenty of eyes already in so we can fill everything up. Chuck those away and jump on through. And this is it. This is the end. Doesn't look very realistic at the moment. It's also very, very dark. Anyway, to make Minecraft even more realistic, all I have to do is punch an end crystal. So I can go ahead and do that. And things have just got more realistic. Okay, I, I saw the ender dragon somewhere above me. Uh, where's it gone? There it is. And oh my goodness. It looks absolutely insane. Also, whilst up here, I can easily get rid of towers. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that's no good, but I imagine if I could do a shot. Oh, again. <laughs> what on earth happened there? I was going to say, imagine if I did a, a, a trick shot in midair as it was falling, but it really was not worth the risk. I've not come all this way for things to now suddenly go wrong. The dragon is perching. I've just got one tower to get rid of. There we go. Oh, it's flying away though. Great. Well... Have some arrows. Here it comes. I have landed quite a few shots on this. And it is now perching. Hitting it from one of these seems to be a little bit of a challenge. There we go. I've got a pretty good position now. We can get some damage on it. And one more perch should be enough. Here it comes. Oh my goodness, it would hit me up in the air, wouldn't it? Can we MLG this? We can't. Oh, has someone just hit me on the way down? Is an enderman angry at me? No. Oh, yeah, it is. Now I have to get rid of you. No, I'm just going to take a gamble and, and go for it. I, I think I can get in here without the enderman getting to me. Can I reach? I can't even reach his head. Come on. Right, I'm going to have to go for the... Oh, what's going on here? I'm, I'm so close to finish the job. Ah, there we go. And... Mission accomplished. And oh my goodness, look at the way it just falls apart. Don't want to die to an enderman at this crucial stage. So there we go. We survived. And that is Minecraft beaten as it gets more realistic.